One of them might not. Um, but, you know, the problem with doing live shows is that people flag it while it's going on. And if I slip the tongue and I say anything that might be controversial, any word that might be controversial or hint at any of these events, it could be flagged in real time and it could get a strike just like that. I've seen it happen to other channels before. And that's one of the things. So I wanted to talk about some other options too, that I've been talking about for quite some time, but I'm finally going to go through with the first, uh, what I'm really thinking about doing is, um, with the U, I have owned the URL call for an uprising.com call for an uprising.com. I've had them for quite some time. I have a website up, but it's not, I've never touched it or done anything on it. I had somebody work on it. Uh, they put the, you know, links in there that don't even point to anything that I've done. Like they have a, a you know, link to Twitter accounts that aren't mine. You know, uh, this is what happens when you hire people that, uh, you know, probably don't speak a lick of English, but, uh, don't really comprehend what you're saying. And they kind of go about doing things themselves. So I haven't worked on it in quite some time, but what I was planning on doing is making a subscription site that would be, you know, maybe $3 a month subscription site instead of doing it through Patreon or anything like that and doing a weekly podcast, an hour, you know, hour plus show every week where maybe I'll have guests on and I'll interview them. Uh, and we could talk about, you know, I can talk about any topic going on. I can talk about these events that happen, these shootings without worrying.